Dear Anne and the people of Nesbian, what you're doing there is so great and it means a lot for us and especially for those who are in need of your support. As we are talking, there are more than 630,000 people who still live in the evacuation shelters without enough food, water and electrical supplies. Most of them have nowhere else to go because they've lost their homes and many of them also lost all other properties, their workplaces and even worse, their family members. They're spending days at the cold and shivering shelters in the northern part of Japan without any idea of how to continue to live. But at the same time, we're witnessing something else. It's their admirable courage, strength and dignity. They have not lost their hope. They have not lost their hope because they care for each other. They say they cannot feel sorry about only themselves when other people are also in need of help. They take action together in order for them to improve their own conditions. Impressed by their high moral conduct, more and more people in Japan are standing up and lending help, which in turn are giving the victims more courage and hope for the future. Therefore, along with misery, we're witnessing this fact. No matter how devastating the situation may be, kindness, goodwill, and humane act can truly give hope, and people can stay strong. We are also witnessing that people beyond boundaries of nation, race, and culture can be strongly connected and support each other. Such a great example is what's happening in a faraway place, no way. Thank you. Thank you, Anne, for being such a wonderful person and building a bridge for sending hope from the people of Nesbian.